So welcome Haley. I'm so thankful I get to be here with you and just hear a little bit more about how this week has been. How would you say that your experience was working with a cross-cultural mission? Um, it's definitely the biggest struggle was the language barrier, definitely. Yes. Um, speaking more complex sentences and they the women I was working with were from Afghanistan, so they really just didn't process most of it. So having to break down normal, like how I would speak into simple terms was really difficult. But it was really cool to see once we finally like broke through that language barrier and figured out how we could communicate with each other that, you know, we're all people, we're all very similar. So that was, and I could hear the stories. So that was nice. Yes. How would you say it was? Overall, just even the experience of being here, you guys went in a few different areas of this organization, so how was that for you? I mean, uh, Hope Care Beyond has been super welcoming and like very instructional and like showing us how everything is run and being very detailed about like the different rooms and how everything works. Um, yeah, I was mostly working with two ladies. Um, how has the Lord impacted you during this time of serving? Um, I guess I can just really see God working through these women. And even though they've been through so much, they still have love in them, and they still like sh like shine light out into the world. And when you meet the women, you don't know their backstory. So you just think, oh, like, yeah, Fresh Day, she's super cheaper, super nice, whatever. And then you hear where they came from and all the struggles they've been through, and you just gain such a respect for them and how they've struggled and grown from it mm -hmm. and really just persevered. How they are so open to us, even though our culture is so different from what they know and they okay. had to flee what they know mm -hmm. and they're just thrusted into this um, American Christian culture and church that they don't understand or know. Mm -hmm. um, so just and then, of course, the church's hospitality, but then welcoming that hospitality and mm -hmm. saying, yes, we will accept your generosity with grace, right. and like, mm -hmm. we will work with these random kids mm -hmm. for like two days. <laughs> um, just seeing them uh, accept us into their safe haven was really cool. Yes, I think oftentimes I think, you were, I was talking to some other people, they hear refugees and immigrants, and our mind just immediately thinks that, like, I don't know, something bad's going on, and like, just think of the worst, but really at the end of the day, we're all humans, you can yeah. see that being hands-on with them. They're women, and they're so joyful, more joyful than we are oftentimes, yeah. and yeah, so that's awesome to hear. I'm so glad, really, that you got to experience this. I hope that this continues to impact you and other people, other friends that you share about the story and testimony. We really encourage them to. I definitely think it will. The ripple effect. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Have you served ever before, like in something that was kind of like this or no? Uh, I mean, I served in Mexico, but uh, we had translators there. Yes. So this has been. And Mexico is kind of a Catholic environment, so they have some basis of yes, Christianity. Yeah. Was it different, you feel, working with people that are Muslim and like... Oh, definitely. Just <laughs> having to introduce the idea of Jesus, not just as a prophet, but as mm -hmm. like our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. um, and it's when they speak very limited English, Yes, it's difficult to just like talk about the gospel and also you don't want, right you don't you don't want to go from zero to a hundred yeah um, but I've definitely like I've asked for SJ and Razia for prayer requests and I'm gonna keep in touch with that yeah. and just like keep yes. saying I'm praying for you Jesus loves you and that sort of thing yeah um because I think the long term this is like the goal is to make this like a long-term mission and just really like make a long-term impact in these women's lives yeah. and not just like, oh hey, we're here for two days and we're leaving, bye, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so just... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know for myself too, when I've been confronted in other past experiences with sharing, like I've grown up Christian and I've gone through moments where like I really was put like, why do I believe what I believe? Do I believe what I believe? And I've gotten through that, but then it's like, 
okay, coming to an like, environment where people don't believe Jesus. Yeah, like, no, that really makes you feel like how, what do I believe? How do I put this out and express it? Like, I'm just like, it's. It's all, I know it all, but <laughs> when you like explain it outwardly, I feel like that helps yes. you internalize your faith and realize this is what I believe, this is who I am. Yes. Um, and that's the beauty of a mission trip, is you're both like spreading the gospel out to people who don't know Jesus yet, mm -hmm. but you're also realizing things about yourself and your own Oh, faith. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad that you got to that. Like I said, we've all been so blessed by you guys. And I hope it goes both ways. It yeah. sounds like it has. Yeah, it sure, sure has. Thank you so much. Thank you.